Hey, welcome back to Sober Now. I'm Jim LaPierre. Today I want to talk about those times where we have to face things that we're just not ready to. Ideally, through the course of recovery, life gets more manageable, more healthy, more sustainable. New possibilities are born as we stay sober, as we learn and grow. Sometimes we're just forced to do the thing that we're not ready to do because life circumstances demand it. I've supported a lot of folks who went through trying times, for example, uh, they just got clean off of heroin and now they have to face a major surgery and they know that they're going to have to take pain meds afterwards. It's a huge trigger. It's terrifying, but sometimes life just demands it of us. Sometimes you have to take that job that you know is not going to be good for your recovery, but the bill's got to get paid and the baby needs to eat. So sometimes we're just forced to do things. But I always encourage folks to take pause, take stock, and make a plan. When we imagine facing our fears, we typically imagine doing so alone. And I'll always ask folks, you know, if it was somebody that you cared about, what would you want them to be doing right now? And then it looks different. Then we think about reaching out. Then we think about making plans. Relapse prevention plans are always great, but sometimes what we're planning for are things that really just don't feel manageable. Sometimes we have to go home. Sometimes we're forced to. Maybe, maybe a parent is dying. Maybe some life circumstances. Maybe we're the only one that can step up. Maybe we just feel like we have to do this. But to walk into uh, scary places alone, again, it's not something we wish on anybody. So I'll always say to folks, let's move away from the thinking that you have people that are there if you need them, because you're like me, you need them all the time, not just when you're aware of how you need them. So making a plan for that really hard thing that you have to do, my hope is that you'll sit down with somebody who knows you well, put it all out on the table, be truly open-minded. Or, or do the best you can to be open-minded because when we're afraid we don't do our best thinking we certainly don't do our best planning and we likely have some blind spots so if we can sit down with a sponsor or a counselor or somebody who really understands addiction and understands us they're going to be able to spot things that we can't and then we could make some contingencies like i always want folks to have an escape plan if the thing that they're doing simply becomes dangerous, becomes too much, becomes overwhelming, can they at least remove themselves temporarily from the situation? Do they have people that they can reach out to? Not just one or two folks that are in your phone, but really, hopefully, a, a huge support system of willing people who are willing to step up and be there for you. I'm always amazed at people in recovery when we go to them and say, here's my, here's my situation and here's what I need. Folks, when they're given a chance to step up, it's really incredible what I, what I get to see. And so I hope that you'll give other people the chance to come through for you, to step up for you. Because facing fear alone, it's just what we're used to. It's just what's most familiar to us. But it's also what undermines us. It's also ultimately what leads to, leads to a whole lot of relapse, leads to a whole lot of bad decisions. So... In this difficult time, as we continue to navigate a pandemic, as we continue to go through socio and political unrest, and as we approach the holidays, which for most of us in recovery is, is not a great time, my hope is that you'll build more support than you've ever had, that you'll reach out more than you ever even dreamt of doing, and then if you do have to face something that's especially painful or scary, that you'll allow people to be there for you with you through that event. I always ask, one of the first questions I'll ask folks is, hey, do you have anybody you could take with you? So let's work on making things manageable. Let's support each other. And let's give a like and a subscribe to this video. Check us out on YouTube. Sober Now has well over 100 videos now on different topics of recovery. Uh, email me. I would love to hear from you questions that you have or topics you'd like to see covered. Jim at SoberNow.com. Please take excellent care of you and we'll talk soon.